Welcome back. We're standing here with Beverly Hurt, the director of the library here at Smyrna, Smyrna Library. And um, as you've seen what we're doing with some of the paranormal activity, Beverly has experienced something, some events, and I'll let you tell us what it is. Well, we have one that is a three-year-old little boy. We know his name is Terry. That's T-A-R-R-Y. And he's from the 1800s. Um, we first noticed that we had some activity when we had displays set up in our display case and they were um, children's toys and we'd come in every day and the toys would be rearranged. How long has this been going on? Um, quite a while, since I started the, here at the library back in 1999. And how do you know the little boy's age and his name? Um, through working with um, something called dousing rods, you can get yes and no answers. Um, Interesting. Is that what you're holding in your hand, a dousing rod? Yes, you can work with dousing rods and actually communicate um, with ghosts, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, you can find out quite a bit of information. Have you had experience other than, I mean, previous to this library with dousing rods or with other? No. Um, we just contacted somebody to find out about all the problems we were having, like computer problems and um, books being, um, you know, thrown on the floor. And when the Opera House started the renovations, that's when it really started. But Really? You know, mm -hmm. other than Terry, um, mm -hmm. have you spoken with or, or learned anything more about any other of the energy orbs or the energy fields here? Uh, we have quite a few. We have one named Chet and we have one named Joy and we have um, a fire chief named Bernard. Really? And he was here um, from the fire station and four horses. And four horses. Four now, horses. do you have any inclination why they're still here and what they want, or do they want anything? Um, no, they don't want anything. They just like being here. Okay. Yeah, and we have pictures of the horses, and we have pictures of um, the orbs. We know Joy because her orb has her name in it, so it really? spells out Joy. So. Is she a child also? No, or? she's an adult. Um, she's from the 1800s also. Very interesting. Beverly, hopefully we'll speak with you again. We'll find out more about what's going on here at the library and the Opera House. And thank you so much for opening it up to us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned for more. Well, what we are looking at right now are some um, still digital pictures that were taken at the uh, Smyrna Opera House 
uh, on the uh, 23rd of this month as we were doing our investigation. Uh, this is the uh, staging area. The uh, doorway that you see in front of you there is an uh, area coming in. There were uh, two large orbs in that area near the darkened uh, area of the curtain. Uh, is a close-up of the orb that you're looking at now is one of the uh, a cross section of one of those two orbs uh, As you can see it's a real nice round orb You have a uh, much brighter color around the outside and kind of a more fuzzier color inside uh, This is still in the same area. This is a friend of ours uh, Rachel She's using an electromagnetic meter and was picking up quite a bit of disturbance as you can see is an orb all of a sudden That seems to have appeared in front of that uh, We took about 15 or 20 photographs before that actual orb showed up in a picture uh, in a moment, we'll see a close-up of that. And again, you can see uh, kind of a brighter color around the outside of the edge, uh, almost to a solid point in, in, in the interior. Um, even perhaps if you look real well, you might even see what looks like a little smiley face, a set of eyes, a little nose, and maybe a little mouth underneath of there, which is not unusual to be seen in uh, some shapes of some orbs. Uh, we will be transitioning from there to the outside of the opera house. Uh, this is the main area where you see... Um, at least one orb in the window and then what looks like in the far left hand corner another uh, orb or some type of whiteness uh, this is an unusual thing we've not actually run into this before uh, the cross section that you'll see in a few seconds will show you a close-up of what is looks like an orb with a set of sunglasses and a big nose now I know that sounds funny uh, we haven't done anything of trickery in the respect on these photographs and there was nobody inside the control room. It was locked out to us. We were not able to get into it. But all night long, we uh, took pictures of strange things inside there. The lights would come on. The spotlights would come on. The spotlights would go off. And uh, there was no real reasonable explanation for any of that. And um, it was one of the things of the opera house that we found, along with uh, some voices of a young lady giggling and a man stating, uh, am I standing in the right spot? Am I sure I'm in the right place? Uh, we did believe we saw some shadow figures in that area, too, and in the library we had uh, quite a few orbs, uh, some f uh, sounds of footsteps walking, and um, we thought all in all that we had a pretty good investigation, and uh, we would like to say that uh, we feel that there's definitely a presence in the uh, opera house and in the uh, library. I'm not 100% sure haunted, but definitely a presence that continues to um, want us to do some more investigation into this uh, area.